All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi with the beautiful Christina K. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing a Lamborghini Street Fighter video. We're doing a super light chain and sprocket setup. So we're gonna be heading over to Warhorse of Camp Hill. I wanted to show you guys the garage real quick. Obviously my Diavel, uh, we have the giveaway Diavel, which I'm gonna be doing an up map and first ride on with the new exhaust very soon, probably next week. Uh, this bike is getting shipped out to the winner, Zachariah in um, Colorado. Um, well, we have to sign stuff over tomorrow, then we'll order the shipping and all that, but um, super stoked for him. And then my Street Fighter is already over there along with the MV Agusta as well. Uh, Christina and I actually cleaned the garage floors, looks so much better in here. Um, she washed the cars, the R8 and her Cor Corvette and did like a bunch of content for her oh, Patreon and OnlyFans and stuff. So if you're interested in any of that spicy content, all the links to her channel and her stuff are in the description below. But yeah, don't forget guys, you can still enter, be entered to win two motorcycles. Right now we have the MV and the Diavel. And then once that BMW is gone, we might be adding something else in the future as well. So patreon.com slash camp easy customs. It's always the first link in the description below. That's how we fund the build series. That's how we're able to give the bikes away to people when they're done. We also have a big car update video coming soon. I cannot wait to tell you we're filming that tomorrow. Um, so that will be coming later this week. And um, I think it's gonna blow your guys' minds. It certainly blew mine. So um, yeah, also the car is heading back into the shop tomorrow as well. <laughs> so, so yeah, lots of fun stuff, lots of shit going on. Good old Pennsylvania. We're surrounded by farms and farmland. Luckily we're just far enough away that we don't get the uh, smell from the farms. But I was trying to show you guys the mountains over there because it looks really cool. During fall, yeah, there you go. I don't, know, I don't know how small they're gonna be. Also, in this area, this is one of the fastest growing counties, Cumberland County, in the state. Look at this, just non-stop. That looks like a development to me. Unbelievable, dude. All right, we made it over to Warhorse of Camp Hill, and we got the beautiful Christina K that's gonna do the unboxing for us. So, what we're doing today is a super light chain and sprocket setup provided by our sponsor, Manny at Moto Million. Use my code CAMPEASY to save yourself some money on anything you order and I, uh, I just wanna say thanks for everyone who continues to use the code. I really appreciate it. That's how we're able to keep those sponsorships and you're supporting your boy. Nice so, cover. yeah, swing arm cover on the uh, left hand side. Gonna look incredible. We went with glossy with all the carbon since it comes with glossy carbon accents. Yeah, it is a little bit of a different weave. This is a two nice. by two and this is a one by one. But it'll be down low. Yeah, so it'll be fine, but. That is beautiful. I love those swing arm covers. And then... We've got a bunch of... Yeah, so this, so this is for this side. That's the sprocket carrier nut. Front sprocket, super light. And then we're doing a 520 chain in, uh, conversion. We went, with the, yeah, we went with the uh, magnesium colors. Sitta. I, don't, I think it's actually aluminum though. It looks like it's magnesium. The, um, that's for the other side. It's the wheel nut on this side. These, fun fact, these were supposed to come with red nuts, wheel nuts on here from the factory, but for some reason they didn't. So I got this to replace it. The only thing that kind of sucks is that's not really the same shade of red, but you can't really tell. Yeah. It's better than that. I think it's close it's enough. Yeah, it looks nicer than the stock one. The and then here's the chain, 520 uh, gold and black chain. And then I think all that's left is a sprocket carrier. Yeah. I can't remember if I went black or red. We're about to find out. I, I think I went red. What do you think you did? I think I went red. Remember? Yeah, I can't remember. I think you went black. I have no idea. Oh, oh okay. Black. All right, I went black. Good. That's actually good because I think the black with the red nut will look really good. Um, yeah. And then actually, guys, I think I'm going to be leaving this here at Warhorse and we're going to be listing it for sale again. So. If you are interested in purchasing this bike, you'll be able to contact Warhorse of Camp Hill. And um, if you wanna come down and just see the bike, it's gonna be here uh, where the B4R was on display before since that sold. We're gonna throw this up there and uh, just see if there's any takers because I have some ideas of some things that I wanna do. And um, if I sold Ooh. this, that would allow me to do some yeah, things. Man it, would, it would allow me to do some things. It's always about giving back more to you guys, honestly, than me having this bike just sitting at my house. I just don't have time to ride. I have three giveaway bikes most of the time. 
and I just don't have time to ride this, and I think that it would just be better served in someone else's hands, potentially. Um, but we'll see. Again, if I don't get what I want out of it, then I just won't sell it. But yeah, it'll be down here for sale, so if you're interested, hit them up and uh, tell them you want it. All right, also, uh, with the Lambo Street Fighter, uh, the MB is going to be in here, too. So if you guys want to come down and see the MB, if you weren't able to make it to the um, giveaway event, I'm going to try and keep the bikes at the shop as much as possible so people can come down and see them. I'm, I'm, I was about to talk to them about it right now. Um, so I wanted to give you guys an update on the battery issues we were having with this um, dying every like three to five days Apparently it comes with a GPS unit in it, which is what I, I had heard and um, They're supposed to be registered when the bike is sold if they're not registered and set up Then they continue to try to talk to the satellites and stuff and it pulls a big draw on the battery and they die So that's what's going on um, Caleb was able to actually go in there and just unplug the GPS unit um, he also put a, um, a meter on it to see if it was actually drawing power and he said it was drawing quite a bit of power so that now that that's unplugged doesn't throw any lights or anything um, this actually has a battery checker every time you turn it on so it's been four days since so that started. before it would have been probably close to being dead by now if this is 13 or higher then it's probably not drawing anymore hey. yeah so that's awesome so that means that's basically what the yeah. what the issue is and um, when I do the next MV specific video, I'll let Caleb explain and maybe even show how you do that if you guys have an MV, if you're having battery problems. Um, that should be the solution. Also, check this out, guys. This is the first one I've seen. It's a 2025 Desert X Rally, and it looks, yeah, the seat height is insane, right? So this is the first one I've seen. They have this at Warhorse. Actually, really cool. So very unique seat. Look at that. That is beautiful. You got your uh, Desert X Rally on here. Wow, Olin suspension. Look at this. It's the same dashboard as is on the Panigales and the Street Fighters, but they actually flipped it this way up and down, which is really cool. Look at that. Oh, that is so weird. I think it has some special like off-roading suspension as well. What is that? Hey, what's up, bud? Just rolling through on an RSV4. You didn't need to turn it off. Um, yeah, that's a really nice bike. Yeah, KYB suspension. This is like off-road suspension. Looks really cool, dude. So if anyone's interested in this bad boy, come on down, check it out. Or pick it up and tell them I sent you and you save some money as well. Okay, guys, real quick, story time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the short versions. We're going to leave the names and, and info out. This bike was actually pulled over doing 198 miles an hour. And then um, the kid actually... He decided to sell it back because his insurance was going to go he was speeding, ape shit. It. How crazy is that? Sold it back. That is crazy. 198 miles an hour. That's nuts. So if you want a really fast bike, <laughs> a notorious bike now that's known all over Pennsylvania, come down and pick up this RSV4. And just in case you guys think, since everyone always says I'm full of shit with the things I say, there it is. Registered speed. Highest register speed, 198 miles an hour. <laughs> That's insane, <laughs> holy shit. All right, while we were out there listening to story time, did you hear about that kid that got pulled over in RSV4? Doing 198? <laughs> That's insane. I don't know why I pulled over. That's what I said. I mean, what if you just didn't see them? I didn't notice, because I was doing light speed. I didn't even know. Anyway, don't speed, kids. Um, <clears throat> this is what we're doing. Took off the uh, carbon, uh, front sprocket cover, and I shouldn't have touched that. Breaking the chain loose right now, and then all this stuff is gonna get pulled off. Yeah. Did you have a chance to take this out yesterday? No. Ah. Uh, okay, so after this, you can test the chain and sprocket, make sure it works. <laughs> that sound good? You can be the first one. Yeah. But yeah, I want him to ride this thing. Super fun bike, dude. Especially because we need to make sure it's all good to go too, in case somebody wants to buy it. Oh, we should weigh all this. Keep that. Yeah, yeah, keep that. Yeah, just throw that wherever. Putting the stock parts on, stock chain, sprockets, uh, sprocket carrier, whatever. 10 pounds, 9 ounces. So almost 11 pounds. It's a little over 10 and a half pounds, but we'll call it 10 pounds, 9 ounces. And then let's weigh all the other stuff too. 10 pounds, 9 ounces for the stock parts. This feels pretty close, honestly. Okay, I was way off. 6 pounds, 14 ounces. Quick math, 3 pounds. Five ounces. 
Is that what it is? I have no I idea. Know. It's over three pounds. You saved weight, that's all that yeah, matters. It could be three and a half pounds, but that's important because it's rotational mass, which means when we're in the canyons, <laughs> I'm still gonna be slower than you because I'm not a crazy asshole. Good savings though. Check out this. Look at this little Ducati they got in here, the night shift for the turn. Yeah, let me hear that thing. That sounds really nice, dude. A little scrambler action. I like how he wrapped the pipe too. Keeping the heat down. Very nice. We even got the brown seat on it. Look at this, dude. These are really cool. Alright, so we actually need to swap out the um, cush drives in this. So throwing it in a vise and swapping it on out. Gotta get everything off. A lot of Loctite on these using the impact. The, the air drive impact. Is that what it would be called? Look at me, I'm, lear I'm learning stuff. All right, so we pulled them out of the stock setup, put them into the new one, and that's all she wrote, right? Yeah. Set trying to think of which way you want to line this up to make it look good. Oh, like with the labels and stuff? That's a good question, sir. We got some poison playing in the background. <laughs> Don't need nothing. He's torquing everything down right now. Um, just a heads up, these are aluminum versus all the steel setup. So it is a little bit lower with the torque specs. These call for 45. So always look them up yourself. Newton meters. Yeah, Newton meters, thank you. That's important to delineate. But yeah, we're just gonna go through here. He didn't do this one on the vise because the other setup was steel and this one is aluminum so it can mar it in here. So it's probably best to just do it by hand. <laughs> Luckily his hands are like vices because he's worked on bikes since he was a wee lad. <laughs> All right, we got the new sprocket carrier set up on there. He's torquing down the, the rear nut. Does that feel good? Yeah. Feels good. These are crazy like amounts of torque on these single-sided swing arm ones. I think it's like 150 on this one. And what is it, 200 or 250 on the other? 220, something like that? Crown wheel nut? Yeah, that's this one, yeah. Yeah, but you were having to type of rear, which is giving me different Rear wheel nut? That's because probably the other side is what yeah. it, was, it was giving you. Yeah. There you go. I did actually forget to... 150. 150, yeah. Mm -hmm. I did actually forget to get two of these in black, which sucks. So I got to go order those. Duke of Bike makes these in, I think, like black, red, and yellow. It's okay, Jared. Dude, it looks so much better than that shitty-ass fucking <laughs> aluminum-colored one. But we'll use that for now. All right, Caleb just noticed something. I don't even know if it's going to pick it up on camera. It actually says the torque spec on there, 150 Newton meters. I think you can maybe see it a little bit easier on this one. So let me see, what, where is it? Okay, uh, right there, 250. I don't know if it's focusing or not because my screen's so small, but yeah, that's pretty cool that they do it right on the nut. That's awesome. All right, so be before we put any chains on any bike, we take all the wax and bullshit that they put on there because it flings all over your bike and gets everywhere on your exhaust and shit. So what are you using on this guy? Yama Shield. Yama Shield. And what's the reasoning behind that? Basically like Yamaha is WD-40, but it's already a lubricant, so it'll, it won't dry your seals out. That's important. There you go. All right, he's speeding the chain through, and then he's gonna mark if we have extra. In this case, we do. So he's got to cut off, looks like a link and a half. So that's what we're gonna do, but look at how good that looks, guys. Incredible. Sorry, they're washing a bike back there, so it's loud as shit. Everyone said they they miss me drinking whiskey in the Build Series videos. So I just saw a bottle here that I've never had. Jared's had a really tough day, guys. <gasps> what, what is this called? Uncle, Uncle Nearest? Nearest, 1884, 93 proof. Don't even know what this Small is. Small batch you wanna whiskey. pour me a little bit? It's whiskey, that's all that matters. I feel like on a Wednesday at 3 p.m., Sometimes you just gotta have a little glass of whiskey, Past you know? three at this point. That's, oh my gosh. Okay, let's, let's try this. You wanna hold it? Oh, it smells so gross. What? It smells good. 93 proof, that's pretty hefty. Here we go. Was that like a shot worth? No, like half, not even. How is it? I don't taste anything. Just a little burn, <laughs> if I'm honest. It smelled good. All right, he got the chain chopped up. He's tightening down the master link, flaring out the two, uh, I don't even know what these things are called. Do you? Pins? Pins? Yeah, I guess they would be 
chain pins, right? Something like that. I was asking him if he ever had a chain fly off a bike. He goes, no. Actually, yeah, I have my dirt bike when I was riding on my property. He goes, I had it pinned at, <laughs> in fifth gear, riding through a field and his chain flew off. <laughs> but you didn't put that chain on, did you? Mm, that was years ago. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. That's funny though. There you go. Perfect. All right. And then you put it in the right spot already, right? Doesn't even need to be, does that seem like it's good? Seems pretty good to me, right? That's pretty good. It'll break in a little bit anyway, yeah. so it might need to It'll be tightened. Be yeah. Way down the road, but so the chain's awesome. on? Yeah, it looks so good. So what, you'll throw this back on and then we'll put the this guy on? Oh, and by the way, I, I don't know if I told you guys. Um, in order to take this off, there's a special tool that comes in the box when you buy this bike and I didn't bring it, it's at home. So we can't swap that out yet. We'll just, the next video will probably be an MV video. So I'll bring that tool over and I'm gonna swap this out. Unfortunately, I can't do it today. But we'll do the uh, carbon swing arm cover and we'll throw these on and then we'll be good to go. All right, we're just fitting on the carbon rear swing arm cover and it fits in three different places. So first you have to hook it across the bottom then this slides in under the chain guard right there. Or not chain, yeah, it's a chain guard, right? Yeah, or chain, whatever it's called, like guide. Guide, yeah. And then it goes underneath the rear um, mud, mud guard. But it's important that you get this to slide in under here or else it won't sit flush against it. And then you gotta be careful, you'll know when it's right because look at the tolerance right there. <laughs> Crazy, he, uh, we pulled the, um, what's it called? Rear set. rear set off as well so we could slide this in behind it without uh, hitting anything. But dude, look how good that setup looks with the chain and sprocket set up and that right there. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that's fucking badass. All right, there's the finished product. So the 520 super light conversion aluminum sprocket setup with the black sprocket carrier and then the red wheel nut. Um, we did something else too. Oh yeah, the carbon cover, which looks Incredible. And you did the front too. The oh yeah, we did the front. Um, like spools. Port protection. It doesn't match perfectly the red, but yeah. Three and a half pounds of weight savings. Um, this still has an Hashtag engine light worth it. from the uh, exhaust. So I'm gonna have Caleb hook it up, see what, see if he can remove that engine light, and then I'm gonna have him test ride it off camera and just make sure it's all good to go. But we're busy, so we can't do that today. And then if you come over to this side, um, once I get that special tool. We're gonna take that off and put on the red wheel nut over here. And actually, I'm gonna order the black spring, whatever, retainer clips as well. But yeah, it's gonna be here at Warhorse of Camp Hill. So if you guys wanna see it, here, let me take this. If you guys are uh, wanna see it, it'll be down here. Um, if it's not out on the floor, uh, just ask them and tell them uh, I said you guys can take a look at it. But it should be out on the floor by the time you see this video. They will be available for sale. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. If I want to sell it or not, we'll see. We'll see what happens. There's no way you could ride that. No. <laughs> and your colors clash horribly. Whatever. But that's it. So I think next video will be a build series video with the Diavel. I'll do the uh, up map and first ride with the Termi exhaust, which I'm super excited for. And then once Caleb has a chance to hop on this, we'll get his uh, his thoughts and feedback. But I absolutely love that setup. I think it looks really good on this bike. Like look at that. It looks incredible. So that's it, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a big old juicy thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.